you know why it's called the Rock? So, because the Rocks was named by the convicts during the 1788. Um, it was named after the, um, the Galigal people called Tula Wudala. That's what I've known. But anyway, I will put the description, the link below, why it's called, I think. But I'm not really sure what it is or how they pronounce it, but I think Tala Wudala. Well, it was named after the Galigal people. What I like about um, the rocks over the weekend is that we actually have the weekend markets every weekend so Saturday and Sunday I am sure they're open from 10 a.m. until the 5 p.m. every weekend so if you ever get a chance to um, visit um, the rocks then it's about time to explore since you know we are easing the lockdown here in Sydney and it, it's just one of those beautiful times that you can just go and stroll the rocks in the city of Sydney in, in a fashion way so and also not only that um, you'll find most interesting um, things here in in the rocks over the weekend is because of the market and the market is one of the um, main attractions over the weekend so everyone can um, go and check out what's actually um, they are selling such as the artisans of Sydney they are cur curating any um, products that they can sell to people Also, your rocks visit will not be um, complete without um, testing the or visiting the tea cozy restaurant. Or we call it a cafe in a way. So what they do is they have a um, they're very famous with scone like this one. So I'll show you freshly baked scones. is actually famous for their famous scones in Sydney and if you ever get a chance to visit the rocks and have a bit of a coffee or a taste of the scone here at Tea Cozy. The Tea Cozy is historically tucked in a heritage building in Sydney Historical Rocks area and they serve delicious scones. Um, it's always baked fresh on the premises all day so you can relax and wine with a cup of aromatic tea and also to tame your appetite with something healthier. about yesterday The Rocks is the historic neighborhood of the western side of the Sydney Cove. It rises steeply behind George Street and shows the West Circular Key to the heights of Observatory Hill. 
It was named the Rocks by the convicts who made home there from 1788, but has much older name, Tala Wulata, given by the first owner of this country, the Gadigal people.